Hi, I'm Frank Noboa. I work as an international sales manager for Cardinal Scale and I'm here to talk about our 190 indicator. For those of you who know and love this indicator, there's hardly anything I can say that will reinforce that belief. We sell this indicator all the way from Christchurch, New Zealand to Antigua in Guatemala and everywhere in between. Now, those of you who work with this indicator know that it has very, very distinct qualities and features that benefit you and benefit your customer. One inch high LCD and capacitive touch keys. Color zone check wing. Ultra tough polycarbonate enclosure. IP69K rating. And software designed to make this unit even more powerful and resourceful, such as our 190 targets. In spite of all of these features, there are some common misconceptions that we should go ahead and dispel right now. Every once in a while I hear yes but. The yes but theory may even be funny, but it does hurt sales at the, at the end of the day. One of them is, hey, I'd like to buy the 190, I love the features, but it's not as pretty, not as stylish as our stainless steel um, indicators. And I say yes, our stainless steel indicators are really pretty. But the 190 indicator, standing side by side, our stainless steel indicator, asks no favor from it. It's just as beautiful. Another misconception that is, that is quite familiar, that I'm quite familiar with, is they'll tell me, hey, my operator, that guy only uses pens to work on, on, his, on, on, on the screen. And every time he does that, after a week or two, a month or two, keys are destroyed. Well, that doesn't happen with this, because this capacitive touch keys, they do not activate with pens. What? He doesn't use a pen? He uses a knife? Cool, let's see if it works. It does not work. It does not damage the keys. It just doesn't work. What does it work with then? Only your finger. You see, that's all it does. Only your finger. What? You are in a, in a manufacturing facility that only uses gloves. Well, that is just as well. If I can get this glove on, I'll show you. That works. Anyway, it still works with the glove. It's good. Finally, one of the other complaints I get is that, well, well, you know it's plastic, right? And plastic, we all know plastic scratches. Ultra tough polycarbonate enclosure, it does not scratch. What, you didn't do it hard enough? Well, let's try again. Let's, let's just destroy this baby. It is working perfectly. Unless this factory is manufacturing blades for Edward Scissorhands, it'll never see as much action as it just did, ever. This is a good thing. One feature that doesn't get around as much as it should is that plastic inhibits condensation. Now, as good as stainless steel is, and we all love it, one thing that is clear is that once the cold surface from the stainless steel hits a hot and humid environment, droplets will collect as water inside the instrument, naturally. This does not occur with our 190 indicator because plastic will not allow it. Another common misconception is that, hey, you know what, that's plastic. Plastic is not tough. Plastic is frail. It'll break. Well, the thing about ultra-tough polycarbonate enclosure is that, well, it really isn't. It really isn't. What happened to this indicator? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Unless the indicator has suicidal tendencies, it'll never fall like this, ever. We are good. So if you haven't quite promoted the 190 like you should, or God forbid, you've never bought one, looking right at you. Stop missing out and start cashing in on this great instrument. And for more information, you know you can always count on www.cardinalscale.com.